William from WMD here with a quick demo of how to use the phase displacement oscillator. First, we have our waveform channel select switch. Pushing this changes the color of the LEDs above to red, and you can select the waveform for each channel by first scrolling past the current waveform. So, if we put it on this waveform, move the knob, listen to the output. Scroll here, we have to change past it. First, go to a triangle and set input one from a sine to a triangle also. So these here are your phase adjustments, the bias setting. For each channel. These are the phase bipolar CV inputs. So if we take the output of channel 1, run it into channel 2, this changes the amount, this changes the level shift or bias. The PDO shares one analog oscillator to saw core and runs it into a digital wave shaper and gives you four simultaneous outputs and one sum output and a staircase output which is a comparison of each phase to the input waveform which is the sawtooth. So you can have any of the sine, um, compressed sine, triangle, spiky triangle, bump, tangent, saw, and square. On channel 2 you get all of those same waves with the addition of PWM. The difference between you get square, which stays the same width, but it can be phase changed, and you get PWM. The analog sawtooth core oscillator inside the PDO has a 1 volt per octave input calibrated, exponential FM input with a bipolar attenuator, linear FM with a bipolar attenuator, and a sync input, hard sync, resetting the sawtooth wave. The linear FM has a jumper on the back for AC or DC coupling. This is hard sync. Using hard sync and adjusting the phase outputs allows the change of the relative cutoff point, sync point. This is a sync signal from maths. Particularly useful for LFO. Staircase output calculates the phase difference from each signal to the analog core, VCO, and basically gives you a sum of square waves. Fun with the PDO really begins when you modulate the phase inputs from the previous stage's output. Produces very stable wave folding that changes with frequency. Changing the input modulator from channel 1 produces many different tones.
square wave, bump wave, triangle. So if we change the output waveform, we get all sorts of different tones. This gets even more fun when you start using a VCA to modulate the amount of modulation. This is a, just a fall signal from maths. Phase inputs are normaled from 2 to 3 to 4, allowing you to use one phase modulation source for all three phase inputs. Sine wave from the ULFO. Cascading the phase inputs allows for even crazier modulations. Please note that outputs 1 and 4 are normaled through the jacks to the sum output. So plugging into those jacks will remove the signal from the sum output. To set up the super saw, first select each waveform to be sawtooth. sum output. You can use the phase offsets to offset each saw from each other to whatever amount you want. You can use a secondary modulation source like maths. Or a sine wave is even better, like that from the ULFO.
modulating this through VCA is also awesome. Phase modulation is similar to linear frequency modulation with the advantage that phase modulation does not affect the input waveform. So this is linear FM and the frequency shift is a result of the limited range of the FM as the, the waveform modulating the oscillator bottoms out at the rails the frequency will shift. This is a sine wave input from the ULFO. Phase modulation you get similar sounds but it's smoother and you can get more of it without destabilizing the waveform. This is the sum output of outs 2 and 3, being linear modulated, and phase modulated. In opposite directions with the bipolar inputs. linear FM phase modulation. The first expansion for the PDO is the quad AAF or anti-aliasing filter. This filter has four independent Butterworth four pole low pass filters, each controlled by a shared frequency pot or CV input or a clock input because this the Quad AAF uses a similar filter topology to the Synchrodyne, which is a switched capacitor type. The, the resonance is fixed for each one of these, as it's not really intended as a aggressive or variable resonance filter, just to take the edge off of the um, each output. So, this is the raw sawtooth output from channel 1, and this is the filtered output. Since the phase displacement oscillator is hybrid analog and digital, the wave shaper being digital, the output is stair-stepped just a little bit. This is a very zoomed-in picture. The quad anti-aliasing filter will remove these. Without. With. And this is adjusting the frequency of the filter. When you zoom back out, you don't notice it at all.